Hi, welcome back to Pandex Solutions. I'm Sony. Hope all are doing well and good. This week, I'm back with the part two of most often asked interview questions on embedded systems. I know you have been waiting for this part two. Come on, let's get into the concept without any delay. I will just brief about what we discussed in part one. We have discussed about what is embedded system? What are the main essential components of embedded system? What are the classifications of input output devices for embedded systems? How practically embedded systems work? And the real time use of embedded systems. Hope you all got the clarity of what is there in part 1. And if you have not watched part 1, the link is given in the description. Please have a look at it and you may understand better. Now let's get into the present one. The first question is, explain what is microcontroller. The microcontroller is a self-contained system with peripherals, memory and a processor that can be used as embedded system. This will be a smart definition for microcontroller. We will move on to the next one. Mention what is the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller. Microprocessor is manager of the resources which lie outside of its architecture. Microcontroller have input output, memory etc built into it and specifically designed for control. This is the main difference between microprocessor and microcontroller. Next question is, what does DMA address will deal with? First, abbreviate what is DMA, that is direct memory access. Now, answer for the question. DMA address deals with physical addresses. It is a device which directly drives the data and address bus during data transfer. So, it is purely physical address. Now, let's see another important question. That is, list out various uses of timers in embedded systems. We use timers for various purposes. Number 1. Real-time clock for system. Number 2. Initiating an event after a preset time delay. Number 3. Initiating an event after a comparison of preset times. Number 4. Capturing the count value in timer on an event. Number 5. Time slicing for various tasks. Number 6. Time division multiplexing. Number 7. Scheduling of various tasks in RTOs, that is, real time operating system. In above all these, you can give 3 or 4 uses that is enough. Next, list out some of the commonly found errors in embedded system. When this question is asked, do not list out the silly errors. List out the main errors first and then some small errors. So, commonly found errors are Number 1 Damage of memory devices, static discharges, and transient current. Number 2. Address line malfunctioning due to short in circuit. Number 3. Data lines manufacturing. Number 4. Due to garbage or errors, some memory locations being inaccessible in storage. Number 5. Inappropriate insertion of memory devices into memory slots. Number 6. Wrong control signals. These are enough for this question. I guess you all have learned something from our video. If you like the content, hit the like button and subscribe our channel. For further tips and guidance, the details are given in the description. And follow our Instagram account where you can find much more technical content. And we are conducting a series of webinars every week and two webinars per day. If you are interested, the registration link is mentioned in the description. 
have a look at it and grab the chance to gain knowledge for free thank you